thinking now that men are like electrons, electric, and that women are like protons. Men, when combined together, form a current, a pathway of information, for information, an electrical current, electrons together, forming an electric stream, electronic, electron stream, electron flow, a current, and that's how we pass information. Together with women, men form elements. Men, the men and the women form elements. They form building blocks. It's a, it's a nucleus and an electron forms an element, just like a man and a woman forms a building block. Women together form life, utilizing the building blocks to create variety. But the protons, to, the nucleus together there's neutrons to this too. That's something to be explored. The protons together and the nucleuses together form molecules which are life. That is the, the essence of, that's it, that's being put together. But you can't do that with just one proton, one nucleus. You need met more than one. It's important for women to come together. The entertainment industry has really taken its toll on women. Maybe, maybe it's liberating. This, it's been such a brutal history for women until we were able to put a video camera on the human race and realize what the hell we've been doing, which is isolating half of ourselves because they're smaller physically, because they carry the life. The men think we carry the information. We transfer the information. So we're more important. But to realize... What is information without life? There is none. It is complete equal. I have magnets in this hand. I was holding these magnets. They're very strong. And I'm afraid they have this desire to pull together. And we are magnets. This is the thing. Each person is a magnet. And we... When, when we're coming at each other, we, we, we repel each other at times, we move around each other and inspire each other, inspire motion. But then if you, if you every once in a while, you, if you lose focus, things can happen. I let that happen just then. It happened, I lost focus and it happened a couple days ago. And that becomes a problem when you become magnetized and attached to another person as an electromagnet because you get stuck. And if you get stuck on another magnet, although it's stuck, you know, there's, there's other things about it that are good. You know what? That came together in a pretty destructive manner. I'm going to take it apart and put it back together again. Oh, that's hard to get off. Whew, magnets. It can be balanced. You can feel the pull of the magnet and learn from it. L learn from another person. And there's that desire. As soon as I start to learn from another person that I really like, for instance, a woman that is showing me things about life, not about information, not about inf the idea of life, but life itself. I start to feel that magnetic pull. And if I'm not careful, I get stuck. But if I'm careful, and I'm aware of what's happening, I'm able to create a buffer. What that buffer is, Things, things I like to do, 
and they're real and it keeps me from becoming quite stuck. I mean, I'm still there electromagnetically pulled towards and learning from, but there's something else there that makes it easier to pull away. Maybe that's fear. So then I think, okay, then let it happen at a slow pace, become connected. And that is one magnet with another person. We have created one mat. We have created one, a unity. And to find another magnet that's equal to your magnet, or that has an equal and opposite pole, as equal as possible, that mirror, that, that person, or that person that we know, that we see ourselves in so well, but opposite. Not opposite. It's pulled to. It's, it's opposite. It's not opposite. It's, I mean, positive, negative. I don't know why they call electrons negative. I think that men aren't inherently negative. They're just kind of wild. So I would say it's an equal and opposite pole, focusing in different directions. They happen to be the exact different direction. Maybe, or maybe it's that we're all just drawn to everything. We're all being pulled towards everything. Humans are particularly bright electromagnetic beacons, so we're drawn to humans. I believe the beacon is in the brain. The more active the brain, the more drawn to it we are. I want to, I want to focus on, I was thinking, when you form to become one magnet with another. You can do things like magnetize and lift, do super seemingly superhuman feats. The key, the keys. You can find the key. You can take the key. You can do so much. You can take the key and the light. I know you can. There's a way. Right now I can't take the key and the light. It's one or the other. I want to take both. Build a bigger magnet. So we connect with people to create a larger magnet so that we can bring more, a greater things, more things to us magnetically, electromagnetically, by utilizing our electromagnetic current that we focus. Through the magic of video, I want to show you something. key and the light. Just got to think. Just got to use your mind and not try and pick it all up with the one part of it. You got to, you got to, both sides are equal. Both sides lift. Both sides carry something. 